Good morning guys. This is version 2 of my uh, rubber band car axle tubes assembly. This is supposed to be the axle tubes for the back and axle tubes for the front and also I'm using one of the same designs to the to hook the rubber band onto but I've made a few basic novice errors with this um, if we look here we've got quite an overhang and the software is automatically built a support for it and I thought it would do that for these bits but it didn't so in there the uh, PLA has actually dropped down and so we've got a right mess under there that should be a nice gap to put this bit of cardboard that I've got. The idea is we're just going to slide that under there and the same at the other end under there and it should work straight away almost. Um, so I'm going to have to clean this up a bit before we can use it. did some research and one of the suggestions for getting rid of the uh, problems with the gaps here was to tilt the whole thing so that none of the angles in relation to ground were less than 45 degrees you know nothing was tilted over too far so by tilting the whole thing up like this we've had absolutely no trouble with the gap there that's nice and clean all the way along and it's automatically put the fill underneath these bits and just there in fact it hasn't even used it you can see it's free so I'm quite pleased with that that's used far less PLA than some of my earlier designs because it's a smaller footprint and we haven't got the mess that I had with the previous design where it was just dropping underneath here. So I suppose the big question is will it come off? You do have to be a bit careful because it's not a very strong design detail just here. because I'm working on the principle that all the forces are coming this way, not that way. But you could redesign it and put extra strengtheners there as well. There we go. So a little bit of tidying up got these little bits of fill under here I think it also depends which slicer you use I'm using the one that came with the printer the Creality Ender 3 and that didn't seem to recognize that these bits needed supporting it seemed to be only in relation to the ground. So it put these ones in. But when I had these that way on the printer, it didn't put them under here. So if I'd have printed it that way, which is how I did it before, we'd have had the mess under here. I like that. I like that a lot. So this is the previous one. So 
So I also got the alignment right this time because I got the positions wrong on that one. So I should be able to take these wheels off, put them straight on here. I want to tidy that up a bit, but and then that fits straight on there. Excellent. Summary, identical car to the previous version, just an improved axle assembly from a printing point of view. That, these printed much better than these. These ones I had to treat with a hot knife to trim up the mess that had been made under here. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.